Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at NECA's Machiko figure from Predator, which is Lady in Predator stuff. I don't know anything about the character. Uh, I will say, as far as accuracy goes, it seems to be fairly accurate, except they seem to have muted all of the, like, purpley colors on her, but left the neon blue, like, raspberry, blue raspberry blue blaster on their shoulder, very blue which is odd to me, but again, I can't really judge accuracy, you guys can let me know about that. I'll go ahead and talk about the articulation and the paint details and things like that, since that's what I can talk about since I don't know the comics. So, let's go ahead and get it off the stand and take a closer look. This figure stands just about 17 centimeters, which makes it pretty close to 6 and 3 quarter inches, and in comparison with an AVP Predator, she is appropriately sized. I think that's about right, probably, for the AVP Predators. They were kind of big, right? I don't know if they're quite that big compared to people, but she's not supposed to be in scale with them. She's supposed to be in scale with the other Predators, which is a little bit more accurate. I'll show you a photo of that at the end. So as far as the paint goes, it's pretty clean. The, the network on the legs, not the best we've seen from them, but that's going to vary from figure to figure, and it's still pretty good. All of the main parts of armor have like this purpley, grayish look with a little bit of light blue on them, which actually looks pretty nice. Uh, the only thing is just, it really stands out that this is still so very bright blue when nothing else is. Even this gun, which I'm pretty sure is supposed to be the same color, is a lot more muted. So I'm not sure what's going on there, but overall it does look pretty darn good. It's a nice and clean paint job for the most part. The little spots in the hair look good. The face, uh, yeah, I'm not 100% sold on the face, but they didn't do a terrible job painting it at least. So I'll give them that. As for accessories, we do have the face mask, which snaps onto her face fairly well. It's not as well as I'd like, but it's definitely good enough, and it does look pretty cool. They did a good job painting it. We have her gun, which is pretty nicely detailed, and she holds it, again, well enough. Not perfectly well, but it'll do. And then we do have an alternate hand for the right-hand side, which will help her to hold a gun with two hands. As far as the articulation goes, let me zoom out a little bit. The head doesn't really have as much range as I would have expected, mostly because she's got such thick hair all the way around the back of her head. You can't really do too much with the head. I believe it's just a single ball peg, but it is very, very limited, especially with the backpack. For this guy, we have a little hinge, which is completely floppy, and then we have a ball peg on top, but it's very stiff, so I feel like if I use that, it's going to break the little hinge, which is very, very tiny, so... Do that at your own risk. Shoulder pads are connected to the lower arms, so that shouldn't impede the articulation really at all. Yeah, you can raise the arms up really no problem. I like that. That's pretty good. Full rotation, of course, except for where the blaster gets in the way. Bicep swivel is on there, so that's good. Double jointed elbow works nicely, so that's really good. We do get a rotation at the gauntlet and at the wrist, and then there is another hinge in there for the wrist. Very tiny though, so be careful. Same thing on this side, and then we do have her little blades which extend, they're very pointy though, so be careful, but you can extend them. There we go. I don't know if they're supposed to be, mine seems to be one bigger than the other. I wonder if that's intentional or a molding issue or what. Well, it just bent a little bit. They're very fragile, be very, very careful with that. For the torso, we have two, I think, single ball peg connections. Could be a double. It feels... Yeah, I guess it's technically a double, but it, it functions like a single at the top and, and a single at the bottom as well. But you get decent range out of it. It's pretty good. I like that. It's relatively seamless and functional, so that's very, very nice. For the hips, we can bring them pretty far out to the side without much force. I'm sure you could get a little bit more if you wanted to. However, it's, it's not the best situation because the pegs for the joints are a little high up. So she has a little bit of a dangly bit down there. So it's not the best looking situation. You generally uh, don't want things in the crotch to be lower than the crotch joints because then you have a dangly bit and that's not the best situation. But you do have a thigh swivel and then going forward and back, really, really good range. However, they do that again, so be aware, some more looseness issues. Um, generally they're less loose when you pose the legs separately, but once they're together, you get the floppiness that happens. So that's a problem. Double jointed knee. Not the best we've seen, but it'll get the job done. And then for the ankle, we have a ball peg, which again, not the best we've seen, but it's okay. We do have a little tiny toe hinge, which doesn't serve really any purpose. So I'm not sure why they bothered with that. It has virtually no range. So, I mean, it's fine, but it doesn't do anything. So I don't know. 
So yeah, it's it's a pretty okay figure. It's not great. It's not bad. If you are into this sort of thing, then you're probably going to like it. If you're not into this sort of thing, then you probably won't. One other thing I want to mention, this arm does not seem to be pegged in as far as the other one. You can see significantly more shoulder ball on that side than on that side, and the gapping is bigger on this side. But I can't get it to go in any farther, so I'm wondering if anybody else has noticed that issue. It could just be all of them. It could just be this one. I can't say for sure, but it is something I have to mention. So that'll do it, guys. Hopefully you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It, I would really appreciate that. And if you haven't subscribed, you should probably do that too because I do have new videos up just about every single day. We talk about action figures, movies, TV shows, video games, all kinds of fun stuff. So make sure you come back for all of that. And in the meantime, keep collecting. <laughs>